everybody! Today I will uh, talk about this question. Isn't vegan diet unnatural? So many people don't want to adopt vegan diets because they consider it unnatural. So what is unnatural? Maybe they mean that you cannot survive on a full vegan diet when you live in a forest without any access to modern civilization or, for example, on a desert island. Well, maybe it's true, but uh, what are the chances that you will get into such situation <laughs> without a supermarket, without access to food? I really think that 99.9% .9 of uh, people in modern countries, uh, in Western countries, in countries with uh, some kind of uh, developed economics, they will never get into such situation. And even if they do, for example, let's say me, I'm a vegan, I don't want to hurt animals, and I am I find myself on a desert island all alone. What would I do? Okay, maybe I will have to eat some animals, but I can choose which animals to eat. Sounds strange, but uh, animals are not all the same. They differ in their level of consciousness, uh, same sentience, uh, ability to feel pain, suffer, and uh, recognize that they exist for themselves. So there are mammals, there are birds, fish, and lower creatures, insects, bacteria, and so on. No, I, I think it's done with bacteria. <laughs> so I wouldn't choose to kill mammals. I would probably choose to get some sea creatures like uh, mussels uh, or oy oysters or clams. Some, someone without the brain, but with a lot of uh, protein and vit vitamin B12 and... I think I can live on that, like oysters, they have a lot in them and they have no brain, you know, they, it's very unlikely that they have any, any suffering, any feelings because central nervous system is not there, get my point? So yeah, and what else? A lot of people will say that, oh, you should supplement your diet with vitamin B12, therefore it's not natural to follow a vegan diet, but... Um, Vitamin B12 is made by bacteria, so it is made by bacteria either in the soil that animals eat or in their intestines, in their guts, in their flesh, or it can, or the same bacteria make it in the lab. What's the difference? The same bacteria, same vitamin. Uh, you, you say it's unnatural, it's like saying that uh, an apple grown in a farm is unnatural and you only want to eat apples grown in the wild. What's the point? This is just one vitamin which is very easy to supplement, very cheap, and it's 100% effective. Why to kill a whole animal to get one vitamin which you can get easily? And by the way, animals nowadays are also supplemented with B12. You can check on websites like for uh, which provide for farmers vitamins for animals. Uh, uh, there is vitamin B12 for animals, for farm animals. So, if you like are completely against taking one tiny pill a week, uh, but you think that you, uh, killing animals is not so cool, and you want to get all full benefits from a vegan diet, from plant-based whole foods diet, just you can eat some clams and uh, mussels or oysters, as I said. Don't kill animals with the higher nervous system, which feel pain as much as we do. Like you, can, you have the choice, at, even in this case, even if you don't want to be a vegan and you don't want to hurt animals. So, and also, like, is it like really uh, important what is natural, what is not? We definitely not live natural lives. Uh, so even, it's funny. I, I, it seems like I sit in nature, but it's actually next to my house, and I'll go home and get my food from fridge, every all, all the commodities I need. And uh, it's important what is good for your health, what is optimal. So vegan diet is really good for health. So why to think, why would I, what would I eat in the forest, in the desert, or something like that. Just eat what is good in these circumstances which you live in. So I hope you get my point, and thank you for watching, and see you next videos. Bye-bye.